favorite place. Yeah, here for a prescription, but we're gonna stop and get some coffee and there's no line, girlfriend. What are you getting, the Zodiac? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Do you, do you want a blueberry muffin or a cake pop? Anything here, baby? You just want your Zodiac drink, tall or grande? Okay, she does a, um, so a grande. Oh. Speak up just a little louder, baby girl. So it's a black tea with soy milk. And then vanilla syrup. Peach juice. Like the normal amount of vanilla? Like... And then no water. No water, add peach juice. And then vanilla syrup. Yeah, you already told him that part. Because he just asked how much oh, syrup, oh, how much oh, vanilla. Oh, yep. Oh, 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 yeah, really Good job, girlfriend. I'll, I'll do a um, venti iced caramel macchiato. Can I have sweet cream as the milk and the vanilla cold foam on top? And then if I, if I could just have like a extra pump or two of the vanilla in there just to sweeten it up a bit. And that's everything today. You don't want anything else? Look how cute the little target doggies are. No action. Ooh, I like this one. I like that one the best. We don't have any peach juice. Right Honey, do you hear that? They don't have peach juice. Um, oh, and you don't even, you guys don't carry raspberry anymore, huh? Yeah. We, we can have. just add like the mango dragon fruit base to it. That's like a, because it tastes more mango. Ma okay, so the mango, mango would be closer to peach. Yeah, or we can add like, we can add any of the refresher bases. We have a strawberry one too. So there's strawberry, mango, what else? Uh, and then pineapple. And then pineapple. Strawberry, mango, or pineapple? I feel like mango. But you pick, girlfriend. You don't like it? It's okay. You want to try mango? Okay. We'll try mango. Yeah, then, then I don't know. Then we'll ask them to make something different. Okay? Because they didn't have it. Yeah, but you're not going to think you're going to like that because there's not going to be any flavor. If you do it with no, they didn't have any peach juice for her Zodiac drink. I don't know. You said mango, right? Yeah. We'll see what it is. You don't like what it is? I'm trying to think who I need to get gift cards for. If during the holidays, I just grab like a couple gift cards for like bus drivers, teachers. Oh, show the mini disco. Oh, how cute. That's a cute cup. I just don't like cups that aren't insulated anymore. Like a what? It's like a shiny avocado. It is like a shiny avocado. Shiny avocado. Oh, oh no, honey. That's a Christmas blend coffee. Oh, no, no. And no, no. Here's your drink, boo boo. Let's give, go ahead, give her a try. Give her a try. Yeah. So, peach and in, mango instead of peach. It does look normal. You're right. My girl's playing hooky today. It's kind of good. It's good. What is it? Good enough? Yeah. I just oh, wow. Wow, that takes you on a ride of flavor. I drink that is crazy. It's really interesting because you get like the fruit, like the mango and the fruit, but then you get the milk. Thank you so much. You too. Just left the doctors. I'm gonna grab a prescription here inside Target. So I stopped to get her a little pick me up because she deserved it. All right, friends, brief pause so that we can introduce today's awesome video sponsor. I'm sitting here getting ready to wrap my niece's Christmas gift because I'm, I'm trying to get some of my wrapping done. And it made me think, I swear to you every single holiday season, my friends who don't have kids will reach out to me like in a total panic. Like, Abby, I don't know what to get my niece. I only see her like once or twice a year. Or what do I get a kid who's nine years old? But people who don't have children tend to panic 
like on what to get a kid for a birthday, a holiday, and it's totally understandable. If I'm being completely honest, I don't even get to see my niece as often as I'd like to. And so I wanted to share this gift because it's one of those gifts that it doesn't matter whether they're a boy or a girl, no matter what they're into, this is something that they will use. I clever headphones. Have you guys ever seen these things? They're, they're really, really cool in more ways than one. I'd wear these to the gym. One of my favorite features, number one, the color is adorable and they have other colors as well, but these are so soft and cushy for your ears as well as right up here. So they don't get sore. You don't have to take them off. They're adjustable this way, whether you got to make them bigger or smaller. And then they're also super compact. So you can throw this right in the diaper bag on a carry on right in your purse and they're really lightweight too. But what I really like about iClever, they didn't just make kids headphones because they wanted to make kids headphones. The iClever headphones were actually created for safe listening. It just takes away the worry that these could be detrimental to one's hearing. Yes, limited volume, and then they are also good for children ages three and up, and really anybody can use these. Two, if you look up iClever headphones on Amazon, you will see that they are incredibly affordable. That's not even the best part. Favorite part of iClever is their safe listening program. iClever's safe listening program is for school workers, school teachers. All you do is you fill out some basic information and iClever will send headphones to your school for all of your students. They're asking families to send in headphones for their children and not all families have the means to do that. For any teachers who, who sign up, you can receive free headphones for all of your students so that they can all participate in safe listening as well. I'm gonna put a link in my bio. Feel free, click that link, get headphones sent to your school. And um, yeah, check iClever out on Amazon. They make for wonderful gifts. They're incredibly affordable. And my niece is gonna be so excited to get hers. I know that much. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Jingle all the way to Amazon and get any kids in your life safe listening headphones by iClever. Thank you iClever for supporting my channel and sponsoring today's video. You guys, don't forget to go check out iClever if it's something that interests you. Now let's jump back into the video. You ready to go for a ride? We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. We're trying to decide on a gift card for my um, garbage crush. man. It's not my crush. Yes, it is. He you carries my cans up for no, me every know. single week back up the driveway. And even after the move, he's still my garbage man. So I'm just Google so grateful. We don't know if he uses Google though. So I'm thinking either McDonald's or DoorDash is like the best bet, right? No, Roblox. Or Chipotle. Fortnite. No, it's either Roblox or Fortnite. No. Yes. He doesn't play those. He doesn't play that. Yes, he does. We he don't know if he you. plays that. So, he honey, we don't. He told you a bit. Or even a Target. Look at this Target gift card. This black one. It's right, nice. I say we go. What are we Let's doing? go Chipotle. Let's go Chipotle. You want to go Chipotle? Well, hold on. How much is it for? Twenty-five. Do they have one for fifty though? Look at these bowls. They were in the dollar section. Five dollars with the little trees. They're so cute, like you. Boop. Cutie patootie. So I'm just gonna grab two of them. So cute for the holidays. Myla found a lot. Wait, you wanna hear something funny? Arby's reached out wanting to collaborate with me. I told Mimi. Me, me. I, I know. I'm gonna get this sparkly green wrapping paper so that it can be, so that glitter can be all over my house. Okay, I found a $50 Visa gift card for my garbage man. So that, that's what we're gonna go with. Girl. Took off your She's begging me to get him a hundred dollar gift card. Well, like I still have to get like your principal, your bus stops, like your. It's just, it's a lot. Let's grab this one. I just got a text that her medicine's ready. And then these forty dollar multi packs are the move for the holiday. So I'm gonna get that for like bus drivers, teachers, things like that. What, honey? Boys also get Starbucks. Yeah, boys do get Starbucks. Really? Yeah. Are you shocked about that? Yeah. Did you think only girls drink Starbucks? Yeah. Why do you think that? Because why? It's what? More of a it's more of a girl thing to drink Starbucks? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I no, it's funny. You're not wrong. A little bit big. That's a two to three. I can see if they have a one to two. This is you right here, baby. That that one's your oh. size. Boom. You want those? You like those ones? You quit it. <laughs> I like the purple because I have the brown one. You don't like those purple checkered ones? I need some makeup wipes just in case. I don't use them all the time, but I do like to have them for when I'm doing my makeup and stuff. We did this last year and it was like a really good memory. No, it wasn't that 
that one? I mean, it was, it a, was a different one. It was the same brand, but it was a different color box. Yeah. Get it. You get it. Careful putting it in. Don't throw it. Just because I don't want them to break. This is the perfect time to come to Target because it's not Christmas yet, but they already start putting everything on sale because technically, like, they're done. So it's a really good time to come and get, like, Christmas stuff. I was gonna have you hold it for me. Oh, turn, turn, turn. <laughs> I just got a whole Mighty Patch for stuff and Mighty Patch pimple patches. I love Versed skincare. I found these Versed mood drapes drops. Can I talk? These illuminating. Grab my bum. Characters to add to our Animal Crossing town. I never seen these, but I'm excited. Not rude. Getting this for wrapping paper. I've been saying that I want one. I just feel like they're they're easier than the ones that are on the ground. I don't know. Heads up. We got the Target gingerbread house, and then we have edible sprinkles. One. Look. I saw one of those at Kohl's. I saw a flippable. It's like a dragon fruit. This is dragon fruit. We might have to get it. We might have to get it. We might have to. Maybe a little mini early birthday gift. For the tag where the barcode is. Look, come here. We're going to scan it. You're going to scan your bear. Yep. It's only right. It's the tradition. <laughs> Myla and her favorite toy in Target. We need to get it. Is that your baby? Oh, that's a nice. Oh no, honey, not for sale, sweetie. No, no. No. We found a new flavor of our favorite bubble tea, and she's so excited. All right, we're back home. I'm not allowed in Target for the next few months. I've decided. You guys, let us know if you want a haul. <laughs> Mila already put the pillows on. They look so nice. Hello, happy hump day. Me again. <laughs> we were so tired yesterday when we got home from Target. Myla took a two hour nap. That poor girl, she's been through a lot in the past like four weeks or so because she was just sick and not getting better. And then they had her on three different antibiotics in under three weeks. So then she was having like reactions to the medication because it was just so much for her little body. So she needed the rest yesterday, but we had a fun time in Target. I'm eating my favorite truffle mac and cheese bites right now. Stressing out because I'm hosting my grandfather's 90th birthday party here at my house the day after Christmas. The day after Christmas. As I always say, like a big reason of why, you know, I wanted a house and wanted my own house and, you know, a little more space was because I want to host. I want to have, you know, people here and kids and, you know. So Monday night we did cookie decorating with some friends and family and it was just so much fun. There were kids everywhere running around yelling, dirty dishes in the sink, like total chaos. And I got a little bit anxious, I guess. Oh my God, it's getting late. Like, oh, there's so many dishes in the sink and I caught myself and I'm like, girl, you prayed for this. You wanted this and here it is. And so I was able to turn that into gratitude, but you know, it's interesting. So anyway, I've just, it, it's just been so great. And once I get all the planning done and everything ordered for my pap's birthday, I'm sure I'll just be excited. If the holidays make you like sad or, or emotional, if the holidays are not a happy time for you, I just wanna remind you that you're not alone, like at all. There are so many people that go through that. For me, it's a mixture. You know, I love the holidays and I love Christmas, but as a co-parent and just like other things too even, um, I get it. You know, sometimes it's emotional, sometimes it's hard driving to my family's you know, side, driving to their party on Christmas day without Myla because I just dropped her off at her dad's, you know, walking into a family event without your own kid because they're at the other parents' house, it's hard. Um, so whether the situations are similar or different, you know, I know the emotions are, are the same and you're not alone. If you are excited, I'm so happy for you. I am very curious as to what everybody's doing. So let me know your plans in the comment section below for Christmas, New Year's, all that stuff. Let me know what you guys are up to for the holidays. And please, everyone, have a safe and happy holiday, whatever you celebrate. And um, happy New Year. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you very much. Bye, guys.